All right, we're back. So it's been a week since the last video showing how to start and grow an account yourself, how to navigate through the CQS, the karma, aging of the accounts and that. So I'll start off by saying, I think I might've fucked this account yesterday. I'm not hundred percent sure. We'll check if I have, that will be a lesson in itself. And then at least this video will still be valuable. It just wouldn't have gone the way I planned. So what happened yesterday was I was thinking about the video today, preparing and all that. And I thought I found a shortcut way to grow the account. So I was checking on these different accounts here, you know, the, the ones that you can join that are CQS friendly, etc. And I noticed on, I think it was new to Reddit. Now on this subreddit, it says you're not allowed to ask for karma. You're not allowed to beg for karma. Is this the one? Yeah. You're not allowed to ask for karma. Um, you know, you're just not allowed to ask for karma, ask for votes, etc. But I noticed people were complaining, saying that they don't understand how Karma or CQS works. And then in turn, people were upvoting it and it was giving them Karma. So I thought, okay, so this account is only a few weeks old, but it's like this account is CQS friendly. Perhaps I found a shortcut. So I thought I'd make a post saying, how does CQS work? I used to use Reddit a while ago and I haven't used it in a while. And now I'm really confused. I don't know how CQS works made that post and I thought, mm, I think I've just found a shortcut way for us to grow our accounts. Um, and then I was hit with a uh, error connecting the server, um, error trying to post to the subreddit and I was like, oh no, I fucked it. But after looking here, I think we might be right. It looks like I've just been kicked from the subreddit, but either way, let's check out the damage, all right? So here's how to check the damage. If you think you have fucked it and the account is no good, all right? Here's how to do that. What you're going to do is you're going to open up a whole separate web browser just in google chrome is fine and you're going to open a what do you call it an incognito browser so you're just going to open an incognito browser and then we're going to do is you're going to go reddit.com and then all you're going to do is type in the username of the account in question so this one is just had another error pop up so not a good sign but we'll check it anyway this is the username here. So you're gonna type that in, boom, that's it. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit enter. And if the account shows up, then it's good. If the account does not show up, then it's shadow banned, all right? So moment of truth, fuck, all right. So the account has been suspended. Now this here, this little thing here, that is not related to the account we're searching up. What this means is that my IP address on this laptop has been banned. That's why that is popping up. So I had some Momo comments on one of the videos saying, you've got the ban thing popping up. You've got the ban banner popping up, but you're not even logged in. So it shows how much you know, blah, blah. Anyway, so to answer that idiot, um, that means the IP address has been banned. So it does, you don't need to be logged in because the IP address itself has been banned and that's what's happening here. So that is not related to the account we're searching, but unfortunately this is, so the account's been suspended. So as I was suspecting, the account is fucked. So let's show you where I went wrong so that you know not to do the same. Okay, so the first thing I did wrong was I broke my own rule and I tried posting within the first few weeks of creating the account. It would have been good if I recorded it, but I thought I found a new breakthrough way to speed up the process. But unfortunately, it's still gonna be a slow process. So for you, don't try posting. Here's what I try posting. So what is the CQ th CQS thing about? You know, just acting dumb because then people will comment on it, upvote it, you'll get karma. So I thought I found a shortcut because I noticed other people doing it. But as I said in the very first video I made, don't post within the first three weeks of creating the account. You only comment because that is how you build the CQS. As I keep saying, the CQS is a ratio between how many comments you make and how many times you post slash upvote. So you don't want to post at all within the first three weeks. And I broke that rule. And now look, the account suspended, all right? Now let's see the next thing we did wrong. The next thing we did wrong was somewhere between this subreddit getting listed and us commenting on it they have tightened up and you're not even allowed to comment on it straight away unless you have a certain CQS. But I didn't see, and in the last video I made, we posted, we commented like five times in the subreddit. But what I didn't realize was we were getting messages each time, pretty much saying not to do that. And I'll try and find them. Here they are. Here we go. Animals on Reddit. Comment was removed. 
comment was removed, comment was removed. So could be related to CQS, could not be, could just be related to Karma. But moral of the story is all of the subreddits listed in this list here get updated the more they get used. So on this list here in the new to Reddit sub, there is a list of subreddits that you're safe to write in. These are what I based the video on two videos ago. These are the ones that we're commenting in in the last video. Now, the moral of the story is these get updated and they change. Now, we used to comment on animals on Reddit because it's an easy one. They're just photos of animals. It's whatever. You just say you're, they're cute, love heart, whatever. It was fine. But obviously, they have recently changed this and now you need to meet certain criteria not to comment on that. Now, had we have seen these messages or noticed these messages, we would have stopped. And if we just got one reminder saying you can't comment on it, no problem. But between getting four messages from that and then trying to make a post, which I broke my own rule, um, that has obviously got the account suspended. So what does that mean? The account is suspended. We're three weeks in. We've started commenting on different subreddits. It's about three weeks old. What does this mean? It means the account is cooked. So despite this video not going as planned, I'll have to make another YouTube series where we grow a Reddit account successfully. This is still a lesson in itself because now it allows me to tell you if this happens and you find that the account is suspended, you're getting these little errors popping up and then you do the trick where you check the incognito browser inside of Chrome, you check the account and it says it's suspended or it doesn't show up at all. If that happens, the account is gone. There is no need to renew the proxy. You can get rid of that. There is no need to keep the login credentials for the account. It is gone. I know how much it hurts because you've spent time on it. You've spent uh, three weeks on it. In some cases, you've had the account for a year and then you fuck something up and it gets suspended. I know it just says suspended, not banned, but it means it's gone. The account is gone. So this is done. You'll never see this account again. There you go, another server error. So if this happens to you, forget about it. Don't even bother bitching about it. Just turn auto renew for the proxy off. Get rid of the login credentials out of your spreadsheet or whatever you're using to track them and forget about it. Delete the browser profile and start fresh. Go back to my first video in this series and just start all over again, all right? So anyway, we'll leave the video at that. This obviously wasn't what I had planned. Just means I'll have to make another video in the series where I show how to grow a successful account. But where I went wrong was I broke my own rule. I tried making a post within the first three weeks of the account's life, thinking that I found a little shortcut and we could use it in our agency, grow our accounts even quicker. But it just goes to show since the CQS got introduced, there is no shortcut now. Even buying accounts, you used to be able to buy accounts that would be aged, they'll have karma. You just start using them right away. This is not a thing anymore. Reddit is now a grind and there is a process for growing the accounts. Now, as hard as it is, it means that is even better for marketing on OnlyFans because this means a lot of people can't be fucked doing it anymore. A lot of people run into problems like we have today and they go, fuck it, I'm just going to do something else. So this means that Reddit is still good for OnlyFans marketing, all right? The harder it is, the better it is because that means it's a barrier to entry, which means it's not a red ocean. It is still good for marketing, all right? So if you're going to take anything out of this video today, don't make a post within the first three weeks. Just stick to commenting and perhaps even just comment once on each subreddit each day. So then you can be aware and see if you're getting a message saying that you're unable to comment for whatever reason. Because as I said, on that list, list is gone. Where's the list? Ah, oh, this is the bloody list. Anyway, on this list, it's normally all good. But as I said, they do get updated as they become more and more inundated with other people spamming with new accounts trying to grow them. This list does change. So you can adapt to this by just commenting once on each of these subreddits. So therefore, if you get a message and you see it, you haven't commented five times and then the account is already skating on thin ice. You just get a message and you go, all right, I know not to do anything on that subreddit ever again, all right? And as usual, if you like the video, go smash the like button, smash subscribe button. And if you want to see me or you want to ask questions to me directly or a hundred other legends also growing their own agency, click the link below to join my school community and I'll see you inside. See you on the next video.